Method two in example three, if you're given the equations or are able to find the equations easily, you could have added the equations. So because the linear equations are easy to come up with based on a graph, we can use our y equals mx plus b. And so if we take a look at f of x graph, so that's this equation, we had a y-intercept of negative two, and if you count the slope, we went up one, right one, up one, right one. So this is the equation x minus two. Our g of x graph, our g of x graph has a y-intercept of negative one, and we find our slope, we go up one, right two to their next point, so your slope is one half. Sometimes you may be given the equations, and then this strategy might work for you as well. So to find h of x, we can add these equations. So we're going to have x minus 2 plus 1 half x minus 1. So uh, 1 plus 1 half is 1 and a half, or 3 over 2x. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So our h of graph, h of x graph, is 3 over 2x minus 3. Now, if I was to take a look and confirm that, you can see you have your slope, or sorry, your y-intercept of negative three, and your slope is up three, right two, up three, right two. So that's another way that you can do it, is you can find the equation and then graph it. Um, but that's if the equations are, are easy enough to find or already given. Let's look at example B as well here. Four plus G of negative four. What you're going to do then is just look at um, each of these points. Uh, so for example, if we go to negative four right here and we find the f of x graph, which is down here. So f of negative four is negative six. And then if we go g of negative four and we look that on the graph, so right here is negative three. So it says to add them, so we have negative nine. If you have this graph further, you could have just looked up the point, or if you have the equation, just since we happen to know that, since we found it here, we can also plug negative four in and when we calculate that, you're still going to get negative nine. So when you plug this into the equation, you're going to get negative 12 divided by 2, so negative 6 minus 3, and you're going to get negative 9.